The 60-40 portfolio is dead. So what is the 60-40 portfolio and where did it come from? Fifty years ago, investors used to do a lot of guessing, basing their insights on casual observations rather than math and science. Stock market observers noticed that when the stock market collapsed, bonds didn't fall with it. While bonds didn't pay very much, they generally held their value or at least recovered quickly. Hence, they were negatively correlated or exhibited a low correlation to the stock market when the market corrected. Bonds appeared to be a safer bet and from this grew an arbitrary, unscientific rule of thumb that the number of bonds you should own should match your age. This theory suggested that a 20-year-old's portfolio should consist of 80% equities and 20% bonds. So since the average age in North America at the time was about 40, a 60-40 portfolio asset mix was the perfect asset mix for an average investor. It was right in the middle. Again, all of this folklore was based upon a guess. But there is a simple, immutable fact that exposes this archaic urban myth of the 60-40 portfolio. While bonds reduce a portfolio's volatility and can temporarily protect value during periodic corrections and compressions in the stock market, bonds do not protect a portfolio or an investor from an inflationary or worse hyperinflationary environment, much like the one we're experiencing right now. Today, we have a much greater understanding of the financial markets as a whole. We use a scientific method called modern portfolio theory to achieve the same level of, of volatility or risk that bonds provide against normal market corrections by employing math and science to construct portfolios with negatively correlated components that trend upward over time, but hedge each other over the short term, moving in different directions to reduce volatility. This is precisely what we do at McIver Capital Management. Yet even today, virtually every bank and most investment dealers continue to sell these 60-40 portfolios to individual investors. For more than 20 years, I've been pointing out this fact. As interest rates have scraped along the bottom, I have pointed out publicly and to our clients the risk of buying or building a portfolio where 40% of your wealth must be held in bonds. The only way anyone could have won by buying and holding 10, 20, or 30 year bonds at 1 or 2% interest is if interest rates fell further and had gone negative, which at that point in time was a very low probability in North America. So why do people keep buying a 60-40 portfolio? Well, because investors have heard of them and people will buy them simply because they've heard of them, not because they are intrinsically sound as an investment. Today, not only have 60-40 portfolios had meager historical returns over the past 20 years, but due to inflation, bonds have had their worst year on record in 2022. The 40% held in bonds will generate permanent losses if sold and relative losses which can never be recovered even if they're held to maturity. Of course, there are certain specific situations where a significant component of bonds may be appropriate or even mandated. Additionally and ironically, with bond rates rising over the past year, bonds are now more attractive today than they have been since the financial crisis 15 years ago. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't own bonds, but if anyone is trying to sell you a 60-40 portfolio, just know they're likely trying to sell you a relic from the past, from a time before anyone really studied or understood the capital markets. In summary, 60-40 portfolios will have difficulty recovering from today's inflationary driven market correction and hopefully this cold splash of water kills the archaic and obtuse 60-40 portfolio for good. Thank you for watching. Click the link in the description below or visit mckivercapital.com to book a meeting and we can discuss how to protect and grow your financial future.